Happy Tuesday. Or no, Wednesday. God, get my days mixed up. I'm feeling a lot better than I was last night when I went to bed. I slept for a little over eight hours. I think my brain needed that to get rid of that migraine I was having. But uh, it's Wednesday, so I'm the only one up. Kayla is off Wednesdays, so she sleeps in and gets a lot of rest before she gets up and starts her day. I'm already up and dressed for work as I'm going to a client again today. I got these little babies up. You little babies. Oh, they, you always get up when I start filming you, huh? You always get up. You little babies. They love attention. We like attention, Daddy. So, I'm finishing getting ready to head to the client. I, got, I, don't, I don't have to be there for another hour. It's only 7.15 right now, so I'm going to pack up, drink some coffee, and then get to work. It's another day. Another thing I did last night was message an old fraternity brother of mine uh, about his mustache. He doesn't have a beard, but he has a mustache and he puts like wax or something in it and makes it kind of like look all nicely groomed and does a little bit of a flip out or whatever. He doesn't do the full curl. I think he has in the past, but he does a little bit of a flip out. And uh, I messaged him yesterday to ask him, what does he use? Because my mustache is getting to that point where it's like in my mouth all the time. So I'm trying to make it teach it like groom it to go you know grow kind of out and in, in a nice orderly fashion so he gave me his um the name of the stuff he uses so i ordered some of the mustache wax stuff that he uses and a mustache comb um <laughs> i know this is getting a bit excessive because now i have a specific brush for my beard now i'm gonna have a specific brush for my mustache and i have some some like beard balm or beard something not, not beard oil but beard something kind of almost like a lotiony kind of stuff that i put in my beard that kind of helps keep it tamed a little bit and then uh, now i'm gonna have mustache wax so uh i'm getting a little little crazy over here but if i'm gonna have an, a beard if i'm gonna have this longer beard and a longer mustache i got to keep it nicely groomed especially when i go to clients and and the whatnot i can't just look be looking all raggedy I gotta keep it nice looking. So, so what I'm trying to do is trying to learn this beard culture and how to keep this this weird beard that I do have um, kind of in tame. Like when I look at it in the mirror, it looks pretty wild looking to me. But then when I see see myself in like pictures or in when I'm editing the videos and see see my beard in the videos, I'm like, oh, it kind of looks pretty good. You know, the way the beard's taking shape and growing and stuff. I don't know how long I'm gonna let it get. You know, maybe down to to here or so. Um, but yeah, this is the longest it's ever been. I'm really excited about it. No one's, my boss or nobody, no client has made any comment about that I don't look, that it doesn't look professional. But so as, I think as long as I keep it groomed, it will look professional. Um, but yeah, I'm excited about starting to do um, some mustache grooming. And I, I don't know if I'm gonna go for the full curly cue. I think it really depends on what it looks like on me. Like if, if the curl looks really good, I'm gonna keep the curl or, or I might just keep a little bit of a flip out. I got I put some uh, like this hair wax that I have in it this morning to try and kind of just tame it the mustache a little bit and and kind of see it flip out. So yeah, I'm pretty excited about about doing some mustache grooming in the near future. Got done with the client early, so that means they get to come home early. Yay for being home. And I think I get to work from home the rest of today obviously and then all day tomorrow and Friday. So I went from having to be at a client all week to only being at a client half the week. So that's a win for me. I'm so happy to be working from home. I just love it. I can be in my comfortable clothes and my nice comfortable office with all my things. I got all my, my things here. Working on a vlog, just importing a bunch of videos because I am very behind. I'm still uh, importing videos for the last day from our vacation, our last beach day, and then we have a travel day. Um, so yeah, I'm hoping I can get caught up soon because I still am filming daily videos and it's June 17th, but you're not going to see this June 17th video probably for another week or so. After this week, I'm off for the next four weeks. That's something my, my boss does. We take like a summer break around like the July 4th time and we take a bunch of time off. So I'm hoping I can get caught up fairly quickly and be uploading these videos a lot more in a timely, in a lot timelier fashion. But yeah, I'm excited I'm home. I only got to work another hour and a half or so. And then Kayla and I are going to go for a walk and eat some dinner and just hang out. She's been home today doing some chores and cleaning the house and, and relaxing and, and that sort of thing. She's downstairs right now watching 90 Day Fiance. I don't, I don't know why 
People love that show. It's so weird and strange and cringeworthy. Oof, I can't watch it. Got our walk in, did a regular 2.75 miles. And now we're back inside. I never film a whole lot while we're walking because we're always talking about our day and everything. So now it's about time for dinner. Mmm, cold bite. Everybody likes a cold bite. We're going to do some Lady in the Tramping again tonight. Mmm, <laughs> you want one? Yes, you want one. Mmm. Eating spaghetti leftovers. And we're gonna watch the last episode of that really depressing show. This is how I know what is true and how much things weigh. It's not the name of the show, but we can never remember the name. Mark Buffalo. Another great day in the books. Sorry, my mustache was itching. It is bedtime though. It's already a little bit past nine and it's time to go to bed. Uh, tomorrow is another day. Tomorrow is Thursday. We watched the the last episode is uh, the last episode of the show on HBO called I Know This Much Is True. I think I actually said it correctly that time. Starring Mark Ruffalo. It was a really depressing show, but it was actually very well acted. Mark Ruffalo uh, should and hopefully will get an Emmy for that. He he was absolutely phenomenal in that show. So if you haven't checked it out, you should. It's great acting, but it is also super depressing and the story is just pretty crazy and wild. Um, and then we watched a lot of Kara and Nate. I know we, I keep bringing them up. It's because we're, we're watching them a lot. We're about less than a year behind now on their videos, on their travel videos. We're trying to get caught up um, so that we can watch them as they upload and then move on. We got a couple other YouTubers on deck as far as like who we want to binge through their whole back catalog. So. We're excited to get caught up on Karen and Nate so we can, they're on, they're doing van life right now. So we're excited to watch them do that and be able to move on to um, this other couple we've got uh, picked out that we're gonna watch. They're called The Endless Adventure. Uh, their names are Eric and Allison. I've watched a couple of their videos and I really like them. So we're gonna binge them next. But uh, that's it for today. Another, another Wednesday in the books. Tomorrow's another day. I get to work from home all day tomorrow and I'm super pumped. Also, I got to cut the grass tomorrow, so that's no fun, but I'm going to try to knock it out quick. So, see you tomorrow.